Hey everybody, what are y'all doing? This is Cliff Goat, aka the boy KP, straight from the LV. Welcome to my first tech how-to video on OBS Studio. Today, I'll be showing you how to record multi-channel audio in your local video recordings. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel at youtube.com slash and be sure to follow me on twitch.tv slash where I do all my gaming live streams. Now let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your Windows sound settings by typing in sound settings under your Windows search. And you're going to be sure that your default audio and input devices are selected. For your output device, you're going to want this to be your headphones, what you're going to be using to listen to every audio source that comes through your system while you are streaming and recording. And for your input, obviously, your microphone. And now we're gonna to wanna to go into the sound control panel here in the top right. So the way I have my outputs and inputs set up is that for channel one, I'm gonna be using that as my streaming channel. As a reminder, on OBS Studio, you can, only, you can only select one channel for streaming. I just go with channel one. And for channel two, I'll be using my microphone. So what I do here is go to my default microphone and I name it appropriately OBS Channel 2. You can use any naming nomenclature that you prefer, but be sure you make it obvious that's OBS Channel 2. And now we go back under playback for channels three through six. For channel three, I'm going to allocate one of my mini audio outputs, which if you're streaming, you probably have more than enough audio outputs and inputs to fill those six channels that's available to you in OBS Studio. For channel three, I pick my Realtek audio driver and I allocate that as my game audio, OBS channel three. So any sounds, music that comes through your game minus the in-game voice chat will go through OBS channel three. For OBS channel four, I'll be using my SPDIF drivers with Realtek audio. And I'll be calling this OBS channel four with my Discord slash in-game chat. And for those of you who don't already know this, um, on many, um, many popular games in-game, you can allocate, you can specify the specific channel, the specific output that you want your in-game chat to come through. And we will not be using the headphones for the Discord slash in-game chat. We'll be using a different audio output for that. More on that later. And for channel five, for the purposes of this video, I'll be using that as my local music playlist that I use for copyright music. We will not need to assign an output for that. And then lastly, channel six, which I use for my soundboard that I use on my Elgato Stream Deck, I'll assign that to my Focusrite USB audio driver, which is my Scarlet 2i2. And I just label it appropriately, OBS channel six. And one thing to keep in mind whenever you're selecting the, the default format of your audio, you want to be sure they all line up with the same hertz. So be sure that you're selecting 48,000 hertz on each one of your outputs and inputs, as you see here. And you, why I say 48,000 is because many of you will have OBS audio settings set to 48 kilohertz or 44.1 kilohertz. Whichever one you go with, the point is make sure it matches. So for me, I use 48 kilohertz, so make sure 48 kilohertz is selected. The bit doesn't matter, just make sure everything is on 48 kilohertz. Now that that's all done, we're ready to head into OBS Studio. Also, be sure to go into your settings in audio, go to global audio devices, and be sure that all of your devices are set to disabled. Otherwise, every single scene will be monitoring each one of these devices, which for the purposes of this video, we want these to be disabled. And as you see here, I've already got a, I've already got a scene set up. And if you look under the advanced audio properties, I've already got six channels selected, but I wanna go ahead and lean down the, the, um, the tracks so that I have exactly two channels going to each source. So from my microphone, which is linked to my Logitech Brio in my device properties, want to set the tracks to one and two only. And Cliff, why one and two only? Because as I stated earlier, 
Track one is my default streaming track. And as I said earlier on the sound control panel, the microphone is channel two. Now, we want to create a folder of all of our different audio outputs. This is where the fun comes in. We're going to add ourselves a group folder, audio sources, or audio output sources. And inside this folder, we're going to want to create um, we're going to want to create an item for each of our audio outputs. So on channel three, as I mentioned earlier, this is going to be game audio only. Name it as appropriate and be sure to, appro to assign it to the appropriate device. OBS channel three, game audio. And under advanced audio properties, you'll want to go in and be sure that you only check channels one and three. So do you select two four, five, and six. This is very important. Under audio monitoring, you're gonna to wanna to set your channel three game audio only to monitor and output. By setting this to monitor output, you're able to actually hear the game audio and that same sound is going out to your stream. Because if the audio monitoring is on monitor off, you won't be able to hear the game. Now let's go to channel four. Let's actually drag the channel three game audio, as you see here, into audio output sources. Now we're going to add channel four Discord in game voice chat. And like with your channel three game audio, you're going to want to set the device to your channel four Discord in game chat and click OK. And then back under advanced audio properties. You'll want to select the tracks to one and four. And again, you're going to want to set the auto monitoring to monitor and output. We're going to skip channel five. We'll come back to that. And let's drag channel four, Discord and game chat to our audio output sources. So for audio output capture, we're going to name it the channel six soundboard. And for the device, you select your OBS channel six soundboard. And we'll drag that device into our audio output sources folder. And now, as you see here, we have three audio sources that we can use inside of the audio outputs, audio output sources folder for any other scene so that you don't have to create all three again if you don't want to. Obviously you wouldn't use this folder if you were like on a BRB screen where you don't want to have any audio played except maybe a song playing in the background. And now let me go back to channel five. So here's what we're going to do here. Since I said I was going to use channel five for my local music, we're going to create a VLC video source. So channel five and we're going to call this my local copyright free music and i will add my copyright free music for my streaming folder and then click ok and now at this point we have all of our audio outputs mapped appropriately to all of our programs. So let me show you what we've got here. If we look under our sound mixer options on Windows 10, you'll see that Rocket League is mapped to OBS channel three game audio. And then also for our Stream Deck soundboard, notice how I have channel six assigned to the sound effect that I'm gonna have played. And of course we have channel four going to our Discord which you will see here on the mixer. Boom. You can set this manually here to channel four, channel four. And also when you go into Discord, you can also be sure to have this set manually to channel four as well. So uh, your audio is going straight from Discord to channel four instead of default, just so you have everything exact so you don't have to rely, rely on default settings so often. Now that everything is set, if I uh, go to Rocket League, Notice how whenever I mouse over the menu, notice how the channel four game audio or channel three game audio only, it responds. And notice that the audio is only going out of one source so that whenever your stream is played and even on local recordings, the audio will only go out. If you look here on advanced audio properties, channel one, 
and channel four. The local copyright music, which is playing right now. I can't hear it right now, but it is playing the music as we speak because it's on monitor off. So the song is going to the local recording, although I can't hear it right now. But if I turn this to monitor and output, I can hear the music. I'm going to leave it on monitor off for the meantime and leave local copyright free music turned all the way down. So that is how you configure uh, multi-channel audio for your local video recordings. That's also how you do mixing whenever you're streaming. So you could do all your mixing from within OBS. You don't have to rely on an auxiliary program um, such as um, Ableton or, or Reaper or some other really much more complex um, um, digital audio workstation. You can use those if you want. I've seen streamers that use like um, 13 channel audio, which I mean, that would just that would just give me a headache just trying to have to manage all those channels. But on OBS, you've got six channels to work with, really five, because channel one, that's going to have all your audio. But then really channels two through six, you really have five individual channels when it comes to your final product. So if you have any questions, feel free to post down in the comments of this video or tweet me on twitter.com slash Cliff Goat. Send me a DM and uh, I'll be able to help you best I can. So I appreciate y'all taking the time to watch this video and hopefully I have another tech how-to video that comes out in the near future. Until next time, this is Cliff Goat, aka the boy KP straight from the LV.